Ford Sports Desk, KOMU8 Sports. Hey everyone, some former Mizzou football players got together with the kids today in Springfield at the third annual Lorenzo Williams and Friends Camp. Williams was the former Mizzou D lineman, Super Bowl champion, Lincoln University coach Mike Jones attended, as well as Jeremy Macklin, Kevin Rutland, Colin Brown, and Chase Kaufman. The players taught the kids football and life skills. And with how hot it's been lately, the players and kids beat the heat by playing indoors. 450 kids attended today, the biggest number since the camp started. The camp is also a way for former players to reunite. I mean, you know, we were a family when we went to Missouri and uh, just seeing some of the older guys that, that went there before us and some of the guys that are going there now. So it's, it's always good to come back and be a part of that and see your friends and be able to uh, just, just talk about and tell, tell the old stories that we used to go through. Being accountable to your, your teammates, you know, being respectful to your teammates, being responsible to your teammates, you know, things that, you know, a lot of kids don't really get because they, you know, if they only child, they just, you know, the parents don't teach them the right way to do things, you know what I mean? You want to always be accountable, and that's one thing we learned in Mizzou. The World Series champs, the Cards, haven't been playing like champs the first half of the season. The Redbirds are third in the NL Central and just 44-40 and 40 on the season. Perhaps more surprisingly, St. Louis is only one game over 500 at home. Cards lost last night at home 3-2 against the Marlins. 105 degrees at Bush Stadium today. Perhaps the only thing hotter than the weather is Justin Ruggiano's bat as he hits a two-run homer. And the Marlins up 2-0. He has a 10-game hitting streak. The Marlin players trying to cool off with the towels. In the fourth, Skip Schumacher. Hits one to left. Alan Craig will round third, and he's going to score, and the Cards cut the lead in half. Very next batter, Tony Cruz. Hits one down the right field line, and there's going to be some poor Marlins defense. That's going to allow Freeze and Schumacher to score. Cruz is going to get all the way to third base, and the Cards take a 3-2 lead. The Cards still up 3-2 in the ninth inning, and Jason Mott is on to close it. And he's going to get the pop out to end the game. Mott's 20th save. Kyle Loesch improves the 9-2 as the Cards win 3-2. The Kansas City Royals are 37-45 on the season. But the Royals are a game over 500 away from Kauffman Stadium. Today's game against the Tigers on the road. The Tigers won 4-2 yesterday. Detroit's known as the Motor City. Some nice wheels there. 2-2 game in the second. And Gerald Laird pops one to right. And it's going to get down between two KC Royals outfielders. And a little more lousy defense here allows two runs to score. And the Tigers are up 4-2. Top fifth, Mike the Moose. Moustakis is loose. He hits it deep to right. And it's gone just over the wall. And Rayburn, the Detroit right fielder, yeah, he lost his glove on that play. It's 8-4 in the ninth, bases loaded, none out, and Billy Butler delivers the single to center. Two runs will score. Kansas City down 8-6, eight, 8-7, eight, two outs, and Jeff Rancourt with the runner on second, strikes out to end the game. Casey loses 8-7. Columbia's Carl Edwards racing in the Coke 0-400 at Daytona's International Speedway. Carl's had mixed results at Daytona and says it's a tough track. I thought we were going to be great, and at the end I'm staring at a windshield full of dirt and a uh, smoking heap of mess. And as Carl said, Daytona tends to be a mess. And here's some mess at the pit stop. Jeff Gordon hits Ryan Newman, and that leads Newman to hit Casey Kane. Kane then hits Brad Keselowski. Keselowski won the Quaker State 400 last weekend. All four drivers would be okay and would get back to racing. But that was a minor wreck. This one, a bit more major, as five-time Spring Cup Series champ Jimmy Johnson wrecks. That has to be a frustrating night for Johnson. Final lap, what a fitting way to end it. Another big crash involving many cars. Tony Stewart, though, comes out as the winner. Carl gets sandwiched between two cars, but Carl in the yellow subway car is able to get away from the wreck by sticking close to the fence. Carl finishes sixth. Wimbledon Ladies Championship, Serena Williams versus Aggie Redwanska. Williams is 30 and hasn't won a major since the 2010 French Open. Serena aces her way to victory in the first set, 6-1. She had a record 102 aces for the tournament. A short second set rain delay. And then they get back to action. Aggie Redwanska takes the second set, 7-5.
but Serena wins the last five games in the third set and wins her 14th Grand Slam title and her fifth Wimbledon. That's sports. Now a break. It's all about love, love, love. Gotta have it. Easy to fall in love when every sofa at Slumberland is on sale.